Hey, welcome back everybody to the uh, Solo War Gaming Show. This is our band of brothers from Box to Table video log. So the last time we left, I think we had looked at the templates and the markers. And I told you guys I was still working on my Airborne. So in this, this log or blog, the Airborne are completed. And we'll see if we can get a good shot of those for you. So that's pretty much the 24 man Airborne squad. They're painted, they're based. And actually they're, I'm pretty pleased with them. I was gonna hold out to get 82nd Airborne decals, but uh, not knowing when I'm going to be able to place another order with Warlord Games. Uh, and uh, I didn't want to leave these with no decals until then. I decided to go ahead and do some up uh, uh, with the, some extra 101 uh, decals that I had. So, if you can see here, this is one of my uh, Pathfinders. You can focus. There we go. So this is one of the Pathfinders that's completed. He's got the 101 patch on his shoulder. Uh, and what I figured was, I've got basically six of these guys like this. So uh, I could actually attach these to my other 101 Airborne without, you know, without them, you know, standing out too much. So even if I do get the 80 seconds in, I can uh, do that because I actually didn't have enough uh, patches left to do all 24. I think I had 12. So I put six of them on these guys who are my pathfinders. And then I just picked kind of another random assortment of six guys to get the patches to. So, most of these uh, poses you've seen before, you know, when I first assembled them. And this is just basically, you know, what they look like now. Now, it's funny, whenever you put these under the camera, you see things that you've never seen before, like that smudge on his helmet. I just noticed that. So, I think I'll try to clean that up. But actually, this is just to show you how they came out. And the color of this uniform, believe it or not, that is a... Uh, it was started as a necrotic green or necrotic flesh from Army Painter range. And then it has a... Uh, it has a wash of Agrax Earthshade. Oops. Oops. And so that's how I got the final color. Is that uh, army paint and necrotic flesh, and then it was just washed down with some Agrax Earthshade. But you can see, not all of them have the patch on their shoulder. Uh, which, I mean, I could always order some more 101 and finish them off, or I could actually order some 82nd, and I could still do a 12 or 6 man unit of 82nd Airborne. So. That's an option that I'm leaving open. This is this guy with the pigeons. Let's get another few in here. These are all my airborne. This is a officer with his map. Or I guess maybe a sergeant with the map. Oh, I don't know if he has the patch or not. It's not. The light is not catching. Is that the patch? No, he doesn't have a patch. That's just a smudge I guess I think I was waiting to try to find some officer bars for this guy you probably can't see it but that is actually a map in there I got it from one of my uh, one of my uh, airplane model boxes <laughs> oh I see what happened this patch ran down his sleeve I'll have to fix that The wash probably caused it to roll down there. 
And then again, you see we have one guy with the patch, the other one without. I put the rank on the right arm of some of these. Later on, I realized, or at least I noticed in the pictures, that the airborne actually have U.S. flags on their right arm. And then the rank is underneath that. Of course, I didn't have any U.S. flags. So, I don't know. If I get the flags, I, there might be enough room to squeeze it on there. If not, I'm not going to worry about it. And I actually went back over my Germans. I, I don't know if the last time I showed the Grenadiers whether they had been based or not. So this is the finished and the based German Grenadiers. So they actually look a lot better now that they have some, uh, some basing on them. And I think most of these I did with like a brown. And then I just dry brushed them with what's called a tan yellow. I think it's a... Uh, it's a, uh, is it Vallejo tan yellow or, you see it might be game color. Oh, it's model color. So it was a model color tan yellow. Which I, I kind of like the way it gave it that effect. It does look more like ground or earth. But so they're all based up now as well. you can see here some more of my based up grenadiers so they all of them look a lot better than the last time I put them under camera I also redid my uh, effect markers so they look a little bit more like flames now you know before I just had them in one in yellow one in red so this time I uh, orange and red this time I put some yellow in there and Gave the, the whole thing more of a, uh, everything looks now a little bit more like flame. And so pretty much, I think that's, that's everything you get in the pack, right? So we have our, we have our airborne models, 24 of them. We have our grenadiers, 12 of them. We have the half track. The markers, the house, the townhouse. So all of this has been completed during the, this video log. Now, I don't know how long it's taken me. I haven't kept track. I'm assuming it's been about two weeks since I started. But, uh, you know, I just did a little bit at a time. I wasn't really trying to rush anything. Uh, I didn't feel like I had to get it done for a weekend or for a... Uh, you know, or for a, a, a convention or anything like that. Uh, let me see. So obviously what's not shown in that uh, shot is you still have your rule book. So we can sit that right there into the shop. Your template. We'll put that in the shop. Uh, your little tag or status effect markers are in the shop. Throw some dice in there. And for the most part, that's it. I mean, other than some sheets and things, you know, that's pretty much everything you get in the Band of Brothers box set. And it's pretty much ready to play. So, I think what I'm going to do in the next video is, like I said, I'm going to go through the rule book. You know, I'll just do a video with my thoughts on the rule book. And then after that, I'm going to start my series on uh, my house rules that I'm going to be using. Just so everybody kind of has an understanding when I'm playing that uh, sometimes I'm going to be doing things that aren't in the rules. So uh, I don't know if I'll have a way of marking it then as a house rule that I'm using or whether... Uh, You'll just have to remember from my videos what my house rules are. But uh, that's 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 everything. So that's that's I actually feel pretty good. I actually feel pretty good. So uh, not sure when I'm going to do the Daru book video. I figure I'll probably do that in a couple of parts and then put them all together in one video. So it might take me about two or three days to get it up. But uh, keep your eye out on that. And then... Uh, 
and hopefully we'll be gaming with this stuff soon. Take care.